We've seen this happen too many times, guys. Too many times, you know what I mean? Like, how many rappers, I could probably count 20 off the top that got killed that could have had such a big career, already had such a big career, because they're in the middle of that bullshit, guys. Y'all gotta stay out that shit, like... YouTube, what's the deal like a pickle? It's your boy Zay back with another <laughs> brand new banger for y'all. This is the life of Zay. Thank you for clicking on that channel. Check it out if you're new here. Look around, see if there's something for you. If there ain't, go ahead and get up out of here. If there is, what I need y'all to do is hit that subscribe button down below. Also, turn that bell on so you know when I drop these bangers on y'all. We're sitting at 2,050 subs. We're going to keep climbing. We're going to keep running it up. If you're already uh, part of the family, hey, I appreciate y'all more than y'all know. Y'all know how to do it. Um... What we got today is the, a little little video, man. They wanted me to react to that King Von uh, King Von murder clip or whatever. I'm gonna do y'all that, uh, and then I'm gonna do a little little dialogue for y'all to that. I first heard King Von. I'd say about maybe a year ago. I think he was barely up and coming. He was still a little bit under, but uh, he was a dope dude. You know what I mean? Uh, he was young. He was young, man, and it sucks that he lost his life in a tragic way, but that's what's happening for, to too many people out here, you feel me? That's that's how it goes down, and it's a little crazy. Um, that song took her to the O. I thought he was slapping on that song, you know what I mean? He, he really went in, he did his thing on that. I did like King Von's music. You know, I can recite more songs than um, Crazy Story 1 through 3 and took her to the O, you know what I mean? Like, that. People say that they're a fan of somebody, but they don't. They don't know none of their songs. They just want to hop on the bandwagon. I ain't with that. I ain't hopping on. I thought King Von was dope. You know what I mean? Um, got his music downloaded in my phone, and uh, I'm just you know it's tragic, bro. It's tragic. You know, I think the last rapper that we lost was Nip. Nipsey Hussle had a huge influence, you know, and, and I know King Von's influence wasn't as big, um, but you know it is. It is what it is, you know, we don't know how he touched Chicago, and we don't know how he touched, you know, out there with with his message or, and whatnot, so, you know, I don't know if he was on Nip's level in his hometown, I know that, I know Nipsey Hussle was really, really something to his people, you know, and to us around the world, I don't know, what, I know King Von wasn't on that statue, but he, he was definitely a dope artist, and he deserves the respect, you know, of, of doing him a little video, um, like I said, man, he was, he was a dope artist. It's unfortunate. One thing I can say, you know, and I ain't, I ain't sitting here dissing him. Like I said, I was a fan. I liked his style. I actually, uh, when I when I look up beats, I like similar beats to King Von because he slaps on those beats, you know. We kind of rap, you know, same trap, drill type music. He got that faster flow than a lot of Chicago rappers, you know. That's what I liked about him. You know, he stood out from where he was at, where he was from. He kind of... He kind of reminded me of uh, Montana 300. You know, he he snaps like that too. He goes in real fast and stuff. But uh, anyway, man, yeah, it's unfortunate. But uh, what I can tell y'all is King Von was very disrespectful. You know, in his music, and maybe he had a reason to. Maybe they killed someone close to him. I don't know. But I know when it came to 63rd, uh, he was ve he didn't he didn't have no problem. You know, set tripping in a song or whatever. You know, he ain't had no problem with it, as as a lot of Chicago rappers do, but not too many in the mainstream do that. You know, King Von really, really let his nuts nuts hang with that one. You feel me? He he wasn't scared to say what he felt, and that's what I liked about him is that he would he would pop off at the mouth and get disrespectful. You know, you know, the main thing for me is he kept that street shit and and, and stupid way of thinking, of course, because that's ultimately what will get you killed. And you ain't got no business being out there when you're in the position like he was. You know, he was already a millionaire, guys. He was up there. But he stayed solid to what he knew. You know, he kept it solid to what he believed in in his gang life. You know, he held on to that a little too tight. And unfortunately, you know, I, I read something that he was a uh, Quando Rondo. You know, the whole Quando Rondo thing. I think it was a gang thing that had, it had to do with some with gangs, you know. And uh, it is what it is. You know, I haven't read up too much into it. We're going to read some right now. But, hey, man, you, you know, you live like that. Live by the gun, die by the gun. It's it's just the way it is. But let's jump into this video, guys. So it says right here. Uh, 
Authorities initially said King Vaughn, also known as 26-year-old Davion Bennett, was one of the three people killed in the shooting that um, also injured three others. Hey, man, shout out. Hey, rest in peace to the other people that died, you know. I know we tend to just look at one side and we don't look at the people that ain't famous, you know. But, hey, man, rest in peace. Fly high, you know, to the other guys that also passed away. Guys or girls, I don't know. Uh... Injured other three. On Monday night, agency said that that only two of the six victims had been killed. Also identified the second victim as 34-year-old Mark Blakely of Chicago. The agency has yet to confirm whether or not any of the victims were injured or killed by police gunfire as the independent investigated into the officer using use of force continues. So far, Atlanta police said that their investigation appears to show that the rapper was shot during an initial shooting before the police arrived. The initial shooting happened around 4 a.m. on Friday near the Monaco Hookah Lounge at 255 Trinity Avenue. According to police, a preliminary investigation shows that Bennett and a group of men left the Opium Nightclub and went to the Monaco Hookah Lounge where they were approached by two men in the parking lot. The GBI said that Two of the groups started arguing with each other, and the incident soon erupted into gunfire. An on-duty officer and off-duty officer were in the area and rushed to the scene to find two shots of two locations. On Saturday, Atlanta police announced the arrest of Timothy Leakes on one count of felony murder and the death of King Vaughn. At the time, he was still receiving treatment while in custody at Grandy Memorial Hospital police said that's all they got on it. So they got the guy that did it. All right, but let's go ahead and get into this video Yo off the jump they're already banging it out Yo that's said to be You know Quando Rondo that he's up that he's banging with and uh, it looked like it's one-on-one -on -one right there. See that dude? That dude that's laying right there on the street, just up the burner. He's on. He's on the floor. He's laying down right there. He just started busting. Here's the thing, guys. Why is he alone right there? He just came out with a squad full of people. And if you're popping like that, you know there's people with their hands in your pocket. They're always gonna be around you. Why is he alone right there? That's what I don't get. Man. Everybody's taken out. Everybody's running. Now they want... Oh, look. You see the bullet hole in his back. He's holding on to... He's holding on to Rondo. Oh, he just... He just sucker punched Rondo. Yo, why is all these fools coming out now? Why are they all coming out now after this... After their boy... That, that's taking care of everybody just got hit. Why they all running out now? I don't get that. I hate shit like that, bro. I don't respect nothing like that. Damn. He's he, he's just following. He's just following everywhere, bro. He he's clearly not. He's clearly un. You know he he ain't uh. He ain't responding. There goes the whip to pick him up. Little sucker runs. Damn, bro, that's crazy, man. That's crazy, bro. That was a short clip, but you already know what time it was. Man. You know, I seen the second video, and I ain't gonna post it, but uh, the second angle where King Von walks up, and he starts getting off, I guess it's Quando. I don't know if that's him for sure, but that's what allegedly is Quando Rondo. He starts banging on him, you know, and... uh. When it got to that point, it was already going to go down. You know, something you guys, I can't stress it enough. In my hometown, every, especially in Chicago, you know, not in Chicago, but them Chicago boys. Man, they just killed Duck, what, a, a little while back. And they was enemies, but Duck just died. You know, it goes down over there. And here is the thing, over here and over there especially. 
you cannot. I don't. I don't. It don't matter. It don't matter what people say. It don't ma matter what people think. You cannot go to a gunfight without a with, without a gun. You can't. These kids ain't. They ain't fighting nowadays. These people ain't fighting nowadays, and that's something people tend to forget. And that's why they get that, you know, that's why they get done in like that because they ain't fighting nowadays. It ain't no fist fight. Save that shit for jail because before someone takes my life, I'm going to up it, you know. They can call it a p they can call it a punk, whatever you want. But I know from experience, from, from seeing shit on the news and seeing shit in my hometown, I know that these things ain't going to be thrown. You know what I mean? And... You know, maybe, maybe maybe Vaughn gave him that benefit of the doubt because we have seen videos where Quando Rondo's put it on people, you know what I mean? Maybe he gave him the benefit of the doubt. But your entourage, man, those are little dudes from the hood. They, they ain't got no million dollars. They ain't got no million dollars. Those are your homies from the hood that are just happy to be chilling with you because you made it, you know? Th those, those are the homies from the hood. They ain't got no million dollars like you. They ain't got no chance like you. They ain't making it out the hood like you. They're going to up that thing because that's all they know. And that's exactly what that little dude did. Uh, Terry Meeks or whatever his name was. He started getting off with the, with the heater, you know. And it, like I said, it's unfortunate, man, that that Vaughn was behind that, you know. But uh, what I can tell y'all, man, is that it goes down like that, bro. You have to stop trying to fight fist fight. It ain't happening. If you're going to try to fist fight somebody... You need to have a gun with you because if they put at least you could defend yourself, like at least have a pistol so you can make it fair. You know what I mean? Because that happens too many times, bro. It, it ain't no fist fighting nowadays. That shit's that shit's gone. And as much as people say like, oh yeah, they're they're because they do it like that. It is what it is, bro. They are pussies, whatever, whatever. But those pussies are gonna kill you. You feel me? Those pussies are gonna bang you out and leave you on the street dying because you know you came to a fist fight. It ain't like that, you know. And, and you know Von Von pulled up. King Von pulled up. Start throwing those things on Rondo or whatever. And uh, unfortunately, someone in Rondo's uh, uh, entourage downed him. And that's the way it goes, man. Y'all gotta understand that. Y'all gotta stop fighting. Y'all gotta stop using your hand. And, and I'm gonna tell you that because I'm realistic. I ain't stupid. There's so many people that I want to whoop their ass, but I know they'll smoke my ass. I ain't stupid, bro. So I'm going to keep my ass on this side. If I'm going to bring it to them, you, you already know how I'm going to bring it. I ain't coming stupid. You know, that's why I stay out. That's stay out the way because shit like this, man. It's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. King Von, you know, his debut album just dropped. Just dropped. You know, that was Dirk's boy uh, since kids, man. And uh, Dirk, didn't, Dirk didn't run off on him. You know, I seen that little Dirk was at a show. Uh, doing his own show, I think they say Houston or something, but what I want y'all to understand is did you see how nobody was there when he died alone, you know who was there, you know who was surrounding him, the enemy and the enemy's homies, that's who was surrounding him when he was dying on that street, bro, or, or he, he was not dying right there, he didn't die right there, but when he was down dying, that's who was surrounding him was his enemies, Hey man, it's like that, it's like that, y'all y'all gotta stop giving all y'all's, everything to your homies, bro, they, I'm telling you, I promise you, they're gonna be in. The, they're gonna do that shit to you. You're gonna be like King Von, because you think your homies are rocking with you, and, and you're you're starting shit behind this, whatever, whatever, because you feel like you got homies that are gonna snap for you. You know what I mean? Or that are gonna jump for you when when it's going down, when it, when it's really spunky and shit, and it's going down. You feel like you got homies that are gonna jump for you. They ain't. As soon as somebody starts busting, they're gonna run on you. I promise you, you're, they're gonna run on you like they did to him. And, and they're going to pick your dead body up from, from the ground. You know what I mean? They're going to go to your funeral and say, oh, I carried him when he was dying. Yeah, where was you when he was busting? You feel me? Like, if one of my boys get hit like that, I can't tell you this story. Because I'm going to die like T. Grizz. I can't tell you this story because I'm dying with them. You know what I mean? And, and that's real. That's how it, that's how they are with me too. And they've proven that. And I've proven that. So those are the people that I trust my, I trust my life with. You know what I mean? Unfortunately for Vaughn. You know, when you have money, bro, and, and people don't have money, they'll make you believe anything. They'll ma manipulate you into believing anything. They'll make you think that they'll slang that thing behind you, but I promise you they won't, bro. I promise you. If they haven't proved that from the jump, they won't do that. They won't do that. Y'all need y'all really need to understand this, man. Take this as a lesson, bro. Take this as a lesson. These dudes out here that, that you're paying for, you know what I mean? You're paying for everything, rolling with them, thinking you're safe. You know, they got you if something pops off. They ain't going to have you. They ain't going to die for you. 
You feel me? There's there's a, there's a select few that are die for you. And if you ain't met them when you was a kid, you probably never gonna meet those people. They, they probably don't exist. You know what I mean? You had to, Those relationships had to be built when you was a kid. You know, my relationships built when I was 12 years old for the people that I feel like would do that for me. You know what I mean? 11, 12 years old. Ain't no, ain't no meet them, you know. And the thing that you gotta understand is when you got money, everybody wants a piece of that, bro. They come from nothing, bro. They're waking up in the projects. They're waking up in the ghetto where there's... You know, there ain't even water and people, like, it's bad. You know, they're working up in the hood. They want out of that as, as much as they can get out of that. They want to get out of that. So they're going to tell you anything. And if you believe it, that's on you, man. That's on you if you believe that. You feel me? But what I, what I could tell y'all from experience, they will run on you. They will run on you. There ain't no, there ain't no maybes, you know. They will run on you. Ain't nobody going to lay their life down for you unless they already proved that to you. See, y'all need to be smart. Like, watch who you got around you. Because these people that are that are just there for the money, well, obviously his situation just there for the money, man, you know, it, it ain't, it's crazy, bro. It's crazy. Like, at least put an effort in. They ran, bro. Y'all seen the clip. They ran on him. They didn't put no effort in. They ran on him. Straight left him there. Came back and picked him up when he was dying. One of them dudes wanted to swing at Quando after it's already over. After his boy got a hole in, 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 in his back, you feel me? You gonna blindside him now? Where was you at when I was getting busted on? You know what I mean, like, bro. I know, I know for a fact. If King Von would have would have survived that, he would have been pissed, bro. The next day, he would have been mad because because the situation, you know. And, and if one of his homies was one of the three that died, I salute them. You know what I mean? I salute their parents for raising a real person like that because you don't run on your friends, bro. If you get into something with your friends, you finish it with your friends, and that's how it's always gonna be. It's always gonna be like that, you know. And uh, everybody out here saying, oh, Vaughn was lacking and he didn't have a strap. Vaughn, he went to throw hands. And unfortunately, that's the wrong way to do things. Because like I said, even though you changed your life because you're a rapper and you made it up there and, and you out of that shit, that don't mean your entourage ain't. That don't mean that dude that you just picked up from the hood to go to the club with you ain't. That don't mean that he's out of it. He don't got millions to go home to. He don't got nothing to live for and shit. He's still in the hood. So what do you think he's gonna do when he's still in the hood? He's gonna he's gonna act like a person that's still in the hood, and he's gonna up that thing. You know what I mean? Because that's what we know how to do in a situation like that. We know how to pull that burnout, and, and, you know, and defend what we have to defend. And that's just what it comes down to. You know, y'all need to stop trusting these dudes. And as far as Quando Rondo, he he should have he should have been smarter, bro, about who he's moving with because he's moving with killers. That's cool. But don't get into altercation with the killer because then you take something away from the world that, that was great, you know. King Von's music was great. And I feel like even though King Von started that and he was disrespectful, you know, he didn't care about I feel like that's Quando Rondo's that's that falls on Quando Rondo's back because he's rolling with that killer. That he got the millions. That killer don't. That that little dude Meeks, he don't got the millions. He's still in the hood, guys. He's still in the hood. You know, he's gonna react like a hood person does. And that's just what it is, you know, and it sucks, you know, unfortunately, King Von got a taste of fame and he got out of life a little bit, but not for not far enough for him to not get into this. You know, I know at the end of the day, you got to be a man, you got to hold to your own, but you're out here making millions, dog. Like what you, you're out here making millions, bro. You're set for life. Your family set, your kids are set, everybody's set. What are you doing out here getting into shit like that? Like, it doesn't make sense to me, guys. I would be like Drake, perfect example, Drake, you won't see him nowhere, not even interviews, you know why, because he gets his money and he stays his ass home, he stays where it's safe, bro, I wouldn't be out there if I was worth that much money, I wouldn't be out there acting stupid, and people could say, oh, you forget where you come from as much as they want, but I would not be doing that, guys, because at that point, a lot of people are depending on King Von to take care of him, and now he can't, maybe for like three, four years, yeah, until his money runs out, now he can't, because he got gunned down, and we've seen this happen too many times, guys, too many times, you know what I mean, like, how many rappers, I could probably count 20 off the top that got killed, that could have such a big career, already had such a big career, because they're in the middle of that bullshit, guys, y'all gotta stay out that shit, like, and it ain't even rappers, this is anybody, like, this is anybody, you, if you feel like, if something's gonna go down, you ain't got no business being there, bro, you know what I mean, you wanna, you wanna fist fight, you wanna fist fight, catch him in jail, catch him in the county jail one day, and put it on him, save all that energy until that, Save all that hate until that, because I promise this shit right like this, this ain't the way, man. This shit, this shit's, it's ridiculous, you know, it's it's just, it sucks, you know. King Von had a whole career ahead of him, bro, whole career. Nipsey Hustle too, whole career. 
and they got took from took from the world just because of some stupid shit. You know, and Nip's Nip's case is a little different, right? He he called like a see if they call him a rat, you call that dude a rat, he upped it on him. But you know, Nip was real and I think that Nip had to do that, you know, he had to take that route. But as far as King Von, you know, he's from Chicago, man. He's from Shy. He should have known. You don't this ain't no fist fight, bro. This ain't no fist fight. And maybe he thought because Quando was making money too that he ain't moving like that. But I promise you, I promise you, every street dude that makes it out, he's always going to have a holster next to him, bro. I wrote, you know what I mean? Always going to have a holster next to him. And in the streets, what a holster means, he's always going to have somebody that's going to take your head off on the side of him. So he ain't got to do it. All he's going to do, you know, that little dude Meeks, uh, Quando Rondo going to take care of him for the rest of his life in there. Take care of him in that prison cell. But... The thing is, is that he ain't gonna do it, and I don't know if King Von, you know, I don't know what he was thinking, but like I said, man, it's deeper than that, man, this shit gets serious out here, you got, you have to, you have to be smarter than that, man, that shit, that shit's crazy, bro, anyway, though, hey, man, I, I you know, I react to that, that's unfortunate, don't forget your homies are gonna run on you, bro, if they ain't proved to you yet, they ain't ever going to, bro, I don't trust nobody like that, um, it's a little late. I missed the PS5 release. It sucks, bro. But I'm gonna get it on the on the 17th. So we'll be back up. I did get the, I did get the Jordans on those new 11s. They're coming in a couple days. So y'all look out for that. But uh, anyways, man. Yeah, like I said, we're gonna do this uh these reactions a little more often, you know, and, and see what we can do with them. But uh, yeah, man. Like I said, rest in peace, King Bomb Fly High. The other ones that lost their life, rest in peace. Y'all be safe out there, man. Y'all gotta be smart. That's all I can say, man. I'm going to catch you on the next one, though. I'm saying I'm out.